Olympic softballer Jenny Finch is without a doubt the face of women's softball. At the University of Arizona, Jenny reeled off an NCAA record 60 consecutive wins on her way to winning the 2001 College World Series. And shortly after, she accepted an invitation to play on the 2004 Olympic team. The unhittable pitcher and her team won the gold in Athens, but she says the gold medal should have gone to her family. I think God, from the day one, has kept me rooted with my family. They're my foundation, they're my backbone. I feel extremely blessed to be able to grow up um, with parents who, who love the Lord and two older brothers who set an amazing example for me as far as living for God each and every day. The influence her family's had in her life has taught her what living life is really about. Just being around the professional athlete life, sure. and it's like everybody's searching for that one thing, you know, mm. trying to find it, whether it be alcohol or um, relationships or so many other things. You know, there's no greater feeling than just putting your life before him and saying, God, I've tried other things and it does not even compare. Jenny's success has given her opportunities to compare worldly things with the relationship she started with the Lord when she was just eight years old. And when lucrative offers came to appear in magazines like FHM, Maxim, and Playboy, the decision was an easy one. What if a young girl walks into the supermarket and sees you on the cover and says, Daddy, I want that magazine. Mm. And the dad has to say, no, that's not appropriate for you. You know, even though the article about me would be appropriate, um, you know, I believe that our bodies are a temple of God and um, just wouldn't put myself in that situation. Many professional athletes have rejected the idea of being a role model. But Jenny has a different point of view. And I think for me, being a role model is one of the greatest gifts that God has given me and allowed me to do. And I take that role very seriously. And, you know, it's a crazy world out there. And if I can be a light in any way to the young women of this world, then mm. I'm going to do that. It's so incredible that I could just by a few words, you know, lift them up and um, just see that there's a different way of living, you mm. know. and. You know, you don't really find it on television, you don't find it in magazines, and if I can somehow, you know, lead them to, the, to God through, through my heart and through the way I carry myself, then it's incredible. Jenny has been busy since the 04 games. Her reputation for outstanding play on the field and high moral standards has led to numerous endorsement contracts that have far outweighed the other offers. In October of 2004, she married Minnesota Twins pitcher Casey Daigle. And then, in 2006, they had their first child, Ace, and aspire to be role models, not just in their sport, but in their marriage as well. God has been our foundation, and He's enabled us to continue our relationship and you know, our trust in Him and our belief in Him and one another, I think, keeps us together. It's not easy, Him being a professional athlete and myself on the road, and you know, we see each other about three days a month, so it's, it's definitely, you know, hard at times, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's not easy. Casey and I, we, we pray constantly together and um, individually, you know, we, we put our needs out there and we let each other know our hearts and I think that's what has allowed us to, to maintain our relationship. Jenny and the U.S. softball team will look to capture another gold in this summer's Olympic Games. They've rarely been beaten in international competition and they show no signs of slowing down heading into the Beijing Games. Whether she is facing rival Japan or just winning in the game of life, you can be sure Jenny Finch knows exactly where her strength comes from. God made me and I'm a servant of the Lord. Um, whether it be on the softball field or as a mom or um, on television. Every time I hear the national anthem, that's my kind of quiet time with him and I'm praying the whole time and at the end it's always like, may I give each and every bit of glory to you and may you see all the glory that you bring. God is the answer, and there's no other answer but God. You know, just um, having Him in your heart and, and living a life for Him, that's it, that's where it's at.